Hey guys, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at DMX Master Slave. Well, first of all, what is it? It's a system that allows you to link multiple lighting fixtures together so they're doing the same thing. It basically creates a more synchronized looking light show so that you don't need complex DMX programming. It's a really great and inexpensive way for you to create a much better looking light show. It'll make it look like your lighting setup has been carefully programmed with DMX, when in fact all you've done is plugged in one cable between your lights. So let's take a look at how you set it up. You need to make sure your fixtures are Master Slave compatible. Pretty much all DMX DJ fixtures can run in Master Slave mode. In this video I'm going to be using American DJ Megapar profiles. You're also going to need 3 pin DMX cable to connect the lights together. Now if you don't have any DMX cable you can try using normal microphone XLR cable, but you're more likely to have problems. Check out this video here I did talking about DMX cable versus microphone cable. So here we have 4 Megapar profiles, and I want to set them up in Master Slave mode. So this fixture here is going to be the master, and the other three fixtures are going to be the slaves. First thing we're going to do is plug in our DMX cables. Using a technique called DMX daisy chaining, we go from the DMX output of the master into the DMX input of the first slave. Then we go from the DMX output of the first slave into the DMX input of the second slave, and so on throughout all your fixtures. Now we turn the lights on. To enable master slave mode, we need to go into the digital display. Now, how you actually enable the master slave will vary depending on what make and model of fixture you have. So take a look at the instruction manual for your specific lighting fixture to see how to enable it. With these American DJ Megapar profiles, all you need to do is put them into DMX mode at address number one. Now with the master fixture, you don't need to set it as the master, it just automatically sends the signal down the DMX cable. So now whatever you set the master to do, the slave units will do the same. So it's really that simple to do. You can set a static colour, built in program or sound active mode on the master and all the slaves will copy. It's a really great way to get a much higher quality looking light show without the need for difficult DMX programming. This doesn't just work for LED park hands but for all compatible DMX lights, from moving heads to moonflowers. So that's it, if you want to hear any more about DMX and DMX programming go check out this tutorial up here, it'll take you through all the basics of DMX controlling, DMX programming and the fundamental basics behind DMX. So that's it for this video, if you could hit that like button and share out this video it would be awesome, it really helps me out. So until next time, thanks for watching.